Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to get going with episode 3 of our image processing series. Today we're going to be working on how you can color grade your images with this program. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so we're going to start off in our header file and go ahead and make a new function called color mask. And now this function is going to take three floating point numbers for red, green, and blue. So let's go ahead and make that. And then we'll jump right over to our C++ and start making this function. Alright, so to get things started, we want to make sure that the image actually has a red, green, and blue color channel or value that we can change. So we're just going to go ahead and if the, the image has less than three channels, just print out an error to the user that says something along the lines of you need three channels to perform this operation. Alright, so now that we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and start actually editing the values in our image data. So to do that, we're just going to start off by creating a for loop right here. And we're going to loop through all of the data that we have for that image, right? So that's going to be our size variable. And we're going to increment by channels every single time because we want to edit the red, green, and blue all in one loop. Uh, and if there's, let's say, four channels, we don't want to accidentally edit the, the alpha channel, which is what the fourth channel would be. So as you can see here, we're just going to take our data and we're going to say times equals that mask value that gets passed in, just like that. We want to make sure we do I plus 1 and I plus 2 for green and for blue. And then I'm going to move this whole thing into an else. That way, it will only try to do this, uh, this for loop if there is three or more channels. Then we're just going to go ahead and return our image reference. And then we should be done. This is pretty much our entire function now. It is important to note that since we are accepting floating point numbers, uh, you could take numbers that are out of range of 0 to 1, right? So you could put 5 as a color mask, and that's not really going to do anything. So, or it's not going to do what you expect anyway. So we could have an if statement for that, but for now I'm just going to leave it. Uh, we're going to jump over to our main, and we're just going to test this on our test image by calling test.colormask. We'll turn off the red and green channels and leave the blue channel at 100%, so we will call it blue.png, and then we can go ahead and actually run this code and open up that image, and you'll see we have a nice blue image here, just like that. Now obviously if you're trying to make your, your images nice and pretty, you use, you use more subtle values, you wouldn't turn any channels off, but it's fun to mess with. You can see here we can make the, the image teal and it's just to prove that it's working for, for all channels here. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. I know we don't post videos very frequently, but hopefully the next video will get out soon, and I hope you all watch it. Thank you very much.